Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! New video shows the deadly confrontation between San Jose police officers and a man armed with a hatchet. It happened back in January as police were called to the Metcalf Energy Center off Blanchard Road in San Jose. KPI x Len Ramirez has more on the police body cam video that's pretty tough to watch. Len? That's right, Alan. It is a very disturbing video. It shows and you can hear officers uh, telling the man, ordering the man to drop the axe and the pole that he was carrying. He doesn't. He continues to walk forward and is eventually shot by the police. Now, today, some are wondering why there wasn't some other way that officers could de-escalate the situation. The body cam videos first show officers speeding to the Metcalf Energy Center on January 9th, 2018. They were responding to reports of a male intruder with possible mental issues threatening people with a hatchet and a pole. Officer Adam Hudson's body-worn camera shows officers confronting the suspect, Thompson Nguyen, and giving him verbal warnings to drop his weapons and stop. Stop! 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 Drop it! When Nguyen walks closer, Officer Hudson opens fire. Drop it! A second view from Officer Timothy Fay's body cam gives a wider picture. Fay was armed with an assault rifle. He also opened fire with multiple rounds at about the same time as Officer Hudson. Nguyen died a short time later. The San Jose Police Department referred all comment to the district attorney's office. The district attorney isn't commenting either, but directed us to its report. The report says Officer Hudson told investigators he was afraid Nguyen could attack him with the axe or get around him and attack the other officers with the axe. The report concluded the shooting was lawful, but others have questions. Although he's saying a lot of different things, he's walking not toward them. He walks kind of away from them. That, that's, that's the troubling part of it. The DA's office confirmed that the officers were armed with tasers, but Officer Hudson stated that there wasn't time to use his taser or his OC pepper spray or his baton. There should have been some other way to de-escalate the situation. It seems like as soon as they arrived, things got escalated. An autopsy report shows that Mr. Nguyen died as the result of five gunshot wounds. His family said that he suffered from paranoia for years. He was 27 years old. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.